Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new daily update on Ethereum. We have a lot to talk about yesterday. The SEC sued Binance and, uh, and CZ. So we'll talk about the, um, the implications of that. First of all, I mean, on the short term, that caused quite a big crash, as you can see. It actually, um, well, it, it actually wasn't as big as I would expect with news like this. We, we crashed less than 5%. And again, and I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to sound like a broken, broken record player right here, uh, but Ethereum is actually still holding on to levels fairly well. I mean, if you, if, you, if you zoom out, we're just back in this consolidation between 1840 uh, and 1780. But that's what we'll talk about in this, uh, in this video, whether we can actually hold that or whether this is just a little bit of bullish momentum, a little bit of recovery before we drop down again towards 1750 and 1700 uh, round, those type of levels. But that's what we'll talk about. And there's actually some, some sort of bullish thing about the lawsuit as well. But I'll tell you about all of that in this video. Before we get into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment. And there you'll find instructions on how to join. So now onto Ethereum. So like I said, I mean, we did have a, a drop, but knowing how important and how big Binance is, I would have expected a little bit more of a crash and sure that could still come. And for Bitcoin, I actually do expect some more bearish momentum, but we do have to confirm that yet. And right now, like I said, I mean, technically we're, we're even more bullish still than we were about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we, we regularly dropped down below 1780 and now we managed to hold that even in the light of such bad news. Now, one of the reasons why we might see a little bit more recovery for Ethereum, and by the way, with recovery, I mean, right now, I do not expect us to break above 1840 and 1845 again soon. Uh, it's a possibility if the dollar strength index gets very bearish, but that's also not something I'm expecting. But in the lawsuit, they, they named some other cryptos, which they felt like were securities, right? And we've, we've, we, we know that they've talked about Ethereum being a security. Um, but now they've actually, in the report, I believe they have not named Ethereum. They uh, allege that a number of other tokens are securities, including Solana, Cardano, Matic, and Coty, and Algo, and, and some more. But Ethereum would be in this, in this list, right, if they would consider it a security. So perhaps this is some sort of, a, some sort of an indication that they feel like, well, they probably feel like Ethereum is a security, but they probably also feel like it's a little bit more difficult uh, to claim that and to, uh, and, and to really make a case out of that. So that's bullish for Ethereum. Uh, I think it's also very, very bullish for Bitcoin that it's already, it, it's really seen as a commodity, right? So that's very bullish on the short and long term, excuse me, I have to uh, refresh my camera. So that's perhaps a little bit bullish overall. I mean, obviously this is bad for the entire crypto markets. So therefore, therefore it's also bearish for Ethereum, but on the long term, it might actually be good. So right now, usually after a crash like this, we do get some, some bullish momentum. Um, however, there's so much resistance right here, especially between uh, 1830 and 1845. You know, if we get a lot of bullish momentum, we might spike above that. I do not think we'll break above that. I think we'll get there. We'll find resistance and i really think that we'll just barely see any movement between 1805 and 1845 ultimately but let's say 1840 for the next 24 hours usually the market really settles down a bit i'm not sure if the if, if the volume is already settling down and already decreasing but usually that also happens yes it is it's very high at this point of time but still um, it's probably going to uh, settle down a bit. So that's what I expect. I just expect us to be in this level right here between 1840 and 1805. And then tomorrow we'll talk, talk a little bit more about uh, the possibility of, of, of falling down lower or even getting some sort of a bullish breakout, which it is a possibility. Like, like I said, if the dollar strength index really gets bearish from here and we are seeing signs of a, of, of a reversal or at least the start of the reversal, then we could actually get still get some bullish momentum. Uh, if you, for example, take a look at how the market is reacting to this, it's it's not that um, it's it, it's it's not that bad actually at this point in time. I would say, but I will keep you updated on that. For now, this is my take on Ethereum. So thank you for watching. Take care, and bye.